Hey there, it's Sia New Yorker, your favorite news anchor, news reporter, also known as TV News Lady. And I am on my tiny mic soapbox, so let's get right to it. So our anchor, our weekend morning newscast, Saturday and Sunday. And let me tell you, I don't just sit there and be a pretty face. I make decisions. While our producer is awesome and works so hard overnight, I come in in the mornings and I help write scripts and promos and teases and all the things. And so on this particular Saturday, I came and checked the rundown and I noticed there was a package from our national affiliate and it was called CBS Childless by Choice. So right away, already I was feeling some kind of way because I'm like, childless, childless. So of course I, I watched it and it was a, it was a very informative report, uh, but I felt we could do better with the language. And so I changed all of the copy to child free because words matter. And I felt like there's nothing less, there's nothing less. I think child free is more appropriate and so, um, changed all the script, changed all the copy, um, went on to Anchor, and uh, we get to the broadcast, and it's almost time for the story to air, and I realized that I didn't change the graphic or the Chiron, and so it was too late to tell the director, hey, can you change that graphic? Hey, can you change that lower third? And so... I just had to, to roll with it, so take a look. Thank you, John. A 19 health alert, a growing number of millennial and Gen Z women are choosing not to become parents. Naomi Ruckham explains the many factors leading to that decision and while the child-free by choice shift is happening now. Cecile Palacios is in a committed relationship, has a successful fitness career, and at age 40, does not plan to have children. We as women are... So I'm listening to the story, and again, it is a very important topic. It is a well-done, well-researched story, but I just didn't care for the childless. So uh, I recognized that at the end of this story, uh, which ran about two minutes, I had a on-camera tag, and so I said, "I can fix this." Say it is not too likely or not. One correction to that, Chiron. It should say child-free by choice and not childless. Now, recent Census Bureau data also found that as of 2021, 25% of 40-year-olds in the U.S. had never been married, and that's up from 20% in 2010. So right away, the reaction was pretty positive. The control room, the uh, producers and the directors, they uh, gave a round of applause. The meteorologist, uh, he gave kudos. And then, of course, uh, the phone lines and the social media and the emails uh, started lighting up. Reaction right away. Take a look. This email from a viewer, she said, Loved your comment correcting the story about being child-free by choice. You go. And then this tweet from a viewer. Thank you for doing your part. That they will have children someday. All personal feelings aside, I was not trying to make anybody feel survey. any kind of way. This was not to cast any stones or make anyone feel negative. It was simply to educate and, and to motivate and to inform. And, and that is what we do as journalists. And we help shine a light where there is none. Way. So that's it. That's the goal. Really, really Thank you for listening. Say, choosing not See you in New Yorker on the tiny mic. Accepted, in part because the family makeup is changing.